It was late at night when he showed up, and he made no bones about what he wanted to do when he got there. Uh, the chat was very explicit. Where are you at? I have to go change out of my clothes, okay? Okay. Just hang out the bar for a second. I'll be right back down. I just have on like a jacket and a thermal and a t-shirt and another thermal and like 80,000 pounds of clothing. <laughs> It's a little late to be prowling around these parts, huh? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Why don't you have a seat right over here for me? All right, thanks. Right there on the stool. Appreciate it. What's happening? Not a whole lot. How you doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. What are you up to tonight? Not a whole lot. What are you doing here? Uh, a friend asked me to come over. A friend? And who's that friend? Um, a girl. A girl. What's the girl's name? Um, I'm not sure. How about Sadie? Does that sound familiar? Well, yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. yeah. And how old is Sadie? Uh, 18. 18? Mm-hmm. That's what she said on the phone. That's what she said on the phone? Yeah. What did she say on the internet? She said 15 or 16, but I said, no, nah, you gotta be 18. Really? Yeah. Now, do you want to rethink that and tell the <clears throat> truth this time, or do you want to stick with that story? Well, uh, kind of. Kind of figured something was going on. You did? Yeah. So that was a big lie about the 18 thing that you just said? Well, I don't remember. I was talking to quite a few people. It's almost 2.30 in the morning. How far did you travel tonight to be here? I came from Columbus. Columbus? Mm hmm What did that take you to get down here from Columbus? Mm, I don't know. Probably a couple hours. A couple hours? Uh huh. That's a long ride mm -hmm. at this time of night. Yes, sir. What makes a man get in a car and drive two hours? I don't know, just somebody wanted to meet me and I want to meet them, I guess. How old are you? I'm 42. You're 42. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not look, I mean, I'm not looking for, I mean, to like do anything or anything. What made you think it was okay at 42 years old to walk into a home at uh, roughly 2.30 in the morning where a 15 year old girl was apparently home alone. Well, I wasn't for sure she was 15 or not, to be honest. Well, that's what she said on the internet. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> Stupid question for an older man to ask or like that. She says, well, I'm not telling anyone if you won't. My mom would have a freaking cow. Well, don't worry, it's our secret. Well, I can come over there. Is the parents gone? Again, you say, you gotta promise me you're not like 5 -0. That's the police, Cops, right? right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get locked up. Looks like I'm going to. And me sucking your little sweet spot. <laughs> this is stupid. I want to taste you for real. <laughs> God, man. That's not good. But baby 15 can get me 20. Yeah, it probably can. It probably will. During the chat, he acknowledges that visiting this 15-year-old girl is wrong. He even jokes at one point, you know, 15 will get me 20. In other words, if I get convicted of being with you, I could face 20 years in prison. Am I under arrest, sir? You're not under arrest, no, not now as we speak. Okay, thank you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the Internet. All right. Now, if there's something else you'd like to tell us, We'd no. like to hear it. If not, obviously, you're, you're free to leave. Thank you. <clears throat> Listen, I'm going to read your eyes, okay? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Coming up. Anything you say can't will be used against you in court of law. Yeah.